smoking uh, some Cherokee from the Country Squire in Jackson, Mississippi. So this is a Virginia Cavendish, toasted Cavendish. Looking on there, a little shipping list. Steamed Cavendish is Cherokee. I smoked the Choctaw, which was Virginia's and toasted Cavendish yesterday. Darn nice. Very, very nice. About four dollars an ounce, so it's, you know, it's premium. Real nice people down there. So that was suggested to me by Glenn, pipe smoking plumber, up in Alberta. So, Manitoba, Alberta, the Great White North, all right? Probably not quite white yet. Anyway, isn't, you know, one of the great things about an aromatic, this is an aromatic, is the room note. But, for the smoker, the great thing is, not the flavor. And even this one, being Virginia-based, there is a little bit of tobacco-ness there versus nothing, which is kind of what I'm used to. But let's call it the bag note. Oh, it's so good. Aromatics just have the best tin note. Okay, let's glorify it that way. Great. Mm, you could just like, oh, I could just eat that. I don't know what it is. It's, uh, what would I say that was? Some cherry in there. Probably a little vanilla. Who knows what they would call that mess that they put on there. The goop. But these also smoke surprisingly well. They feel pretty damp uh, right out of the bag. But, you know, they smoke well. And they smoke down to white ash, which I like. Glenn said that, and I, I agree. Um, I think he was a little more enthusiastic about the flavor for the smoker. And I'm a little clogged up, you can kind of tell. So maybe that's why I'm not getting as much. But it's not unpleasant. And, uh, you know, I was kind of looking for a crowd-pleasing aromatic. They gave me a little something, too. And didn't trash my pipes. So, are they going to ghost my pipes? The Choctaw didn't seem to do that much. I smoked it uh, in a cob. And I was thinking what was in that cob before. It was all non-aromatics. This is a custom built from the later generations. Looks like a jum, doesn't it? But you know it really doesn't because it's got this additional scoop out here. Whereas a jum, I should have brought one with me, uh, kind of comes straight down there. Rustication with that routering, very similar. Um, I would suggest that the custom built is the premium product here and does it better. Much as I am a fan of the Jones. Kitty! She's kind of like a dog. Kind of like a cat, though, too. Best of worst, best of both, worst of both, I don't know. Uh, so, I, I love the shape, this uh, slight bent. Uh, the bowl's a little shallow, uh, but, wow, thick. Hello, I am thick. Wide bit. <sighs> Epitome of the type. So it's new to me. Got it on eBay. 
where I get most of my pipes. And I am a bottom feeder, and there's more competition nowadays. Um, this is not an old custom build. This is one of the newer generation of custom builds. And how would you know that? Well, because of the stamp. This one's just super crisp. I'm going to guess it's a 60s era. But we know that because we have, and so should you, as individual as a thumbprint, the custom built pipe story by William E. Unger, Jr., Ph.D. Sadly deceased. Sadly out of print. Dang it. Should have got two, but I didn't. So, what was his? He signed this one. Um, Tom, I trust you'll come to love these great old pipes as much as I do. All the best, Bill Unger. Cool. So, I would smoked a Courtly that, uh, a Courtly Supreme, that... Doug Owen over at Cargo Hold had shared with me. And I, he suggested it was a custom build from some blogs and stuff online. And I was a little skeptical of that. Uh, it just kind of, I don't know, it just didn't feel as custom built to me. And there were a number of uh, cheap knockoffs at the time. So Bill, I bow to thee, Bill. You are the god of custom built. Writes about Courtly. He actually wrote a page on Courtly. And if you're up for it, I'll read it. Even if you're not up for it, I'll read it. Courtly. I have seen two ads for this member of the custom built family. So it is a custom built. One is a very bad copy from a Rogers brochure, but I don't know the date. It is headed courtly styled by custom built with the rich C and an indicated price of $1.79. That's for a new pipe. <laughs> the text indicates that, quote, the economy member of this rugged pipe family is this distinctively carved pipe made of aged Mediterranean briar fitted with a fine vulcanite bit, unquote. With a walnut finish, the pipes are shown in a display box with one dozen assorted shapes. The second ad is from Smoke Signals from 1948. Again, the heading is courtly styled by custom built, printed without the rich C, although 1948 certainly falls within the rich years. Six pipes are shown with a price of $2.50 each. <laughs> let's, let's think about $2.50 for a new pipe, a new briar pipe, a new custom built briar pipe, although as we'll find out, not full quality. Smooth. Uh, not bitey at all. Despite the Cavendish. Sometimes Cavendish just is not my favorite. But I think there's a little soapiness left in this custom belt because it was had obviously been smoked with aromatics. So I should have smoked it in a cob or something to get the flavor of the tobacco. But I don't want to smoke that pipe. I want to smoke this pipe. So I'm tasting the previous ghosting. So the text read as follows. Space does not permit us to show the remarkable beauty of the new courtly pipe presented by the makers of the world-famous custom bill. Each style is a full-sized, dusky beauty, entirely hand-fashioned from the finest age-old Algerian briar. The distinctive shapes are inspired by the pattern of the individual block briar from which it is cut. No two pipes are identical, so that the pipe you choose will reflect your own personality. Nothing 
like pipe hyperbole. hyperbole. Neither ad mentions the courtly supreme, and yet I have seen many more of them than the simple courtly imported briar. The supremes are also stamped imported briar. Yes, sir. Curiously, the one courtly I have is a much better looking pipe than the six courtly supremes I've encountered. The pipes look better in the picture than they do in real life, where they definitely look like cheap pipes made of scrap bri briar. <laughs> okay. Okay, Bill, that's your opinion. Does he say more? No. So, that's it for courtly. So they are custom built. They're custom built seconds made from prior that wouldn't be used for a regular custom build. So, okay. So today is a bonus day. Uh, it was supposed to storm like the Dickens last night. Uh, we had a another storm roll in uh, Friday evening. And it was kind of a doozy. Uh, places around here got five inches of rain. Woo! There was a little wind. Power went out for a few minutes for us. Not much. But the second storm was what was left of Typhoon Songda out in the western Pacific that had traveled all across the Pacific to us, thank you, and uh, was going to lambaste us. So we were all prepared. Meetings were canceled. I had a good meeting I wanted to go to Saturday night eh, in Seattle. Uh, Store shelves were emptied of bottled water and stuff like that. So the cat and I prepped. Um, I got some uh, water for drinking from the well, um, about five gallons. Uh, got some water for bathing on top of the stove, getting ready to go, ready to be heated up. Stocked up on little food, snacky stuff. For me, snacky stuff is I made popcorn. Like, for, you know, a big uh, uh, bunch of it. And then, the cat and I hunkered down last night. Got the chainsaw out, got it started, put it in the truck getting all ready to do a little fire department stuff. <sighs> Nothing! Virtually. I mean, I'm sorry if a tree fell on your house or something, that's bad. But uh, very little compared to what they said was going to happen. So that's a good thing, right? Yeah, that's a good thing. But we're expecting, like, one of the top 10 storms this area has ever experienced um, in written history. So, you know, it's going to be a big one. There's a weather forecast. Just like Samsung, they have lost their brand. Now nobody trusts them. Of course, nobody, well, people want to trust them. Right? Not Samsung, but weather forecasters. So, anyway, it's actually filtered sunshine out there. <laughs> I thought we'd be, like, cleaning up, be out of electricity for days. Trees everywhere, not being able to get around because all the blockages on the roads. Oh, well, it's good. Double tied the boat at the marina, got it all squared away. <sighs> so, Glenn, that's pretty good. I think I do like the Choctaw better. Uh, it's the 
like we say, Choctaw is the toasted Cavendish. Yeah. I just kind of like the flavor better. Um, like I say, it could have to do with some ghosting in this pipe. But they include a nice little handwritten note. Very nice. And lickety split shipping, I'll tell you. So. So these two are right up there in my top of the list of aromatics, which was a very short list. So anyway, good stuff. Nice pipe. Gotta love those custom notes. Good.